This is what I, I like to say. Let me preference. This has changed my life. Preface. Let me preface. Breakfast. No. Let, let me breakfast. It I is. will never say it right what? on the show, what? ever. I will never, ever say it right. I won't do it. Slaughterhouse. Anyways, let me preface it. And Did I say it right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. Y'all ready for this? Da, 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 Diary, Dylan. <laughs> Dear Diary, I slept with her friend. <laughs> look, 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 hey, 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 hey. This is, <laughs> this is what he wrote. He wrote, Dylan wrote this for us, by the way. I slept with her friend, comma. <laughs> this is not a story about cheating. This is a story about love. Dylan, what? This is not like, you even produce this show anymore, bro? This, you're just writing a diary to me. He was drunk. He was like, I fucking love up. I fucking love her, guys. Are we rolling? Yeah. Welcome back to Impulse, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. The energy in this house is ridiculous. I don't know if, uh, are you guys ready for this? Yo, I, ju I just said this before. If I'm ever a pallbearer at like a funeral or some shit and like they're like, okay, we're going to start with the six pallbearers right now. And someone, anyone says, y'all ready for that? It's over. <laughs> Casket drops. Granny rolls down the fucking street. Wait, you can't whoa, say that shit. Why would his grandmother yeah, roll down we the talk, street? We're talking about, isn't pallbearer for a wedding? So where you, where I think you, that's the ring bearer. I think well, the, Paul the bear, Paul bear that carries you when you're dead. That's just me as a giant Why? animal in the woods. What's up with the bears? <laughs> this is all in Chicago? What are you wearing? Y'all ready for this? All right, so I was reading old... <laughs> I was reading old comments on uh, old Night Shift YouTube videos last night because every night for the past two weeks, I've done the same thing. Um, I eat really bad late at night. I'll play some Call of Duty and then I go in my bed and I cry myself to sleep. And I've been doing that for the past two weeks. It's, right. And it's not like a soft cry. It's a full on weeping with the. <laughs> Why are you telling us things we already know? <sighs> okay. Right, right. Last night I was watching old YouTube videos of myself because I, I love watching myself. <laughs> and one of the comments said, he thinks he looks young because of his face. It's because he dresses like a fucking child. Oof. You wear graphic child. tees. That's you wear why. graphic tees and hoodies and hats. Yeezy, old Yeezys. And so today I woke up and I said, you know what? For one day and one day only, I'm going to be Mortgage Mike. Going back, <laughs> going back to the Love Sack days. We're, we're about to IPO this show. Here I am. You look I got, good. I got, I got slacks on. I'm actually trying to refinance my house. I wanted to ask you some questions. <laughs> I wanted to get an interest rate of 2.4 right now. Can we do that? World Drill will do that to you guys. Mortgage the rates are at a historical low, George. <laughs> I know. I'm very sad. I'm actually trying to refinance my Are husband. you actually? Yes. Today, today's National Women's Day. Woo! Shout out to all the women in the world. We love you guys. Uh, you're much better at us. Nice. Not, not, not better at everything, but most things. Danny, you're the only woman in this garage right now, and you know how much we love you and appreciate you and value you. And I love you and appreciate you and value you. And, and you're looking great today with that nice professional outfit that is better than Mike's. Why does it have to go to look slogan? Can't uh, you appreciate her first? Well, I was other just than her looks. Well, it's just wardrobe. I will make your IRA <laughs> and your 401k disappear in five seconds. Okay. Cut the shit. Okay, fine. Burger King, a company not doing a great job Can with, you in, with women with international that? Can you believe that? Is that real? Dude, and as, as, biz, as corporate Mike today, the brand team just can't be super happy about this. <laughs> now, so I, now, so I see this last night. It's a, it was posted at 1 a.m. Uh, uh, U.S. time. Women belong in the kitchen. This had to be a drunk tweet. At 1 a.m.? Women belong in the kitchen. Question. Do you think they're saying this in a, in a positive way? I know. Because they have a kitchen and they were like, we make the best burgers so the women cook the burgers? It's funny that you asked. There's a whole this. story there, okay? The, in, the, in the tweet that follows, there is the reasoning for why they said it, which is that uh, I believe only 20% of chefs or women, we're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career. So there is a story here. There, there was a purpose to this tweet. Sure. But what the Burger King brand marketing team needs to understand, motherfuckers don't read the tweets after the first one. <laughs> they don't care. They don't give a they, shit they don't about want headlines. That, they, don't, they don't give a fuck That's about it, content. Bro, do they know that? Because we're talking about no, it. No, so, so it worked, but they are getting... Torched. How bad? 
I mean, bro, like they're going to survive. But you want to know who they have the biggest problems with? Other fat, other smarter fast food brands. Like, you know, Wendy, like check, check some of the replies. Oh, no. Like oh, Wendy no. started taking shots. <laughs> KFC gaming. KFC gaming. The best time to delete this post was immediately after posting it. The second best time is now. <laughs> With Colonel Sanders. Oh, no. Has it been ever get approved by somebody higher up? A hundred percent. You so, know, you yeah. know, this went through the entire approval process yeah, and so, somehow made so it. So basically what happens with social media at brands like this is, uh, the, the, the social media coordinator or brand manager creates what's called an editorial calendar, just like any other outgoing communication, right? That calendar then goes in front of the brand team and the brand marketing team will make final decisions as to what can and can't go out. So there 100% was more than one to five to 10 people involved in the, in the decision making around this tweet. They, here's their somewhat apology. We hear you. We got our initial tweet wrong and we're sorry. Our aim was to draw attention to the fact that only 20% of professional chefs in UK kitchen are women and to help change that by awarding culinary scholarships. We will do better next time. Can I be honest? Should have never apologized. I, I'm I'm at a bit of a crossroads. I find it odd and there might be a better way to highlight misogynistic behavior by being misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> but... They got exactly what they were looking for. I mean, here we are talking about it on Impulsive. They went incredibly viral and they got a lot of earned media because of it in a time when Burger King may need that. Wendy's, Wendy's tweets are fire. Mm -hmm. Going viral every other week. <clears throat> KFC, Taco Bell. Don't even get me started on Taco Bell. Uh, yeah, they did it. I, you know. Pretty wild stuff. Uh, I mean. On, uh, on National Women's Day. I'm not, I'm not a huge believer in, you know. <sighs> apologizing just based on, on a, on the cancel culture. But like I mean, this one, this one, like, so here's the question. It always comes down to intent if the, or, or it should, at least it doesn't always, cause people don't even care about that. Most of the time they just care about the fucking yeah, headline and causing fuck. a stir. But if the intent was that apparent in the tweet, which was that they are trying to get more women to have their culinary uh, journeys paid for or whatever it was, that's one thing. But there, it could be argued that the entire point of this tweet was to cause a discussion that sold more cheeseburgers. And if that's the case, that changes the story dramatically. That's what I'm saying. As a marketer, I'm like, eh, oof. it's shock value. I also can't believe how many fucking retweets there are and why. Like, are, are, the, are these people like, yeah, <laughs> women do belong in the kitchen? Are, no, are, are they, are no, they trying some, to highlight the conversation? Some, but they're probably quote tweeting. 330,000 retweets? They're probably quote tweeting saying, like somebody's ass got fired uh, or like uh, my, uh, my uh. response was bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see if it pays <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> they're, making it, they're, they're making it a positive. That's why I'm like, hey, like they're, what he said, and, and although it, no one gives a fuck about it except people on a podcast or people willing to listen to a podcast and actually listen to people, intent does mean something to me anyways. Yeah, of course. Not enough? Yeah, not yeah. Enough. You know, you know who's, you know who else are we going on? Are we going to get off women? I just wanted to ask this question before we leave International Women's Day. Sure. Uh, what's the most important thing you guys ever learned from a from a woman? How to live. My mom taught me everything. <laughs> Any, anything specific that you... Honestly, yeah. I'll name one. I, I really cherish how she taught me how to love people and forgive. I think those are the two things that I, that's changed my life dramatically. Mm -hmm. So I think that putting my pride away, being a good person... I think that's one thing my mom and dad really installed in me. My love for God. Installed. Like installed. he's a machine. Took it, downloaded it. <laughs> it. Took it's, a little bit. Instilled. instilled. <laughs> nope, installed. Through Not George's installed. USB port. He downloaded which is located the software in his program. <laughs> I wish you guys would stop bullying. Stop, George. You're Yo, not going to be able to keep fucking doing shit. this shit, George. I'll just drink my water sad. Hey, how'd you guys like those t-shirts you got last episode? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. The we ufologist. Knew this, we knew this was coming. The ufologist gave me and Mike a t-shirt, but the not The phenomenon George. is the fact that I didn't get one. I was... You know, what the, you know what? No one... No, there weren't any comments when Charlie Rocket didn't bring me a pair of shoes. Those yeah, comments yeah. were there. They no, were like, everyone was like, fuck We Mike. want Mike to be barefoot forever. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we're glad he didn't get it, those shoes. Except he's been texting us a lot, I have to say. James Fox, the ufologist. Great episode. Great underview oh episode. God. Go watch that. Go watch my favorite. That episode, yeah. yeah, fantastic. Uh, he's been texting us. He feels horrible. And he's been trying to get our address to send you as many shirts as you can live for, on where for the rest of your I'm life. surprised that it actually got that much. He, he even said, my nephew made it for you. Like, it wasn't him. Like, his, he was just fulfilling a nephew request. And he was a sweet guy off camera, was a very, very, very beautiful souled man. Uh, Dude, are but, you fucking kidding me? Like, wait, there's no way we're back in this shithole of situation about what he brought two fucking shirts he didn't bring it like 
There was no intent. People were like, maybe he just doesn't like uh, Assyrians. Well, like they, it, they it, turn it into like a fucking thing. I wish our I wish our audience would start to like be a different kind of audience. Can I tell that you isn't what? Aligned with Mike the hates you guys. Shit. No, I don't. Shut the fuck up, George. <laughs> Can I tell you what the most important thing that I learned from my mom what? was? Yes, that's what I asked. When I was going through puberty, um, I just didn't understand like the logistics of my penis. Yeah. <clears throat> Never did. It's I still don't. But uh Are you about to tell me your mom knows everything about your dick? Damn near. Oh my god. Damn near. But I was always curious how uh, a, a guy could ejaculate and also pee out of the same hole. I didn't I was like 10. It didn't make any fucking sense to me. I said, Mom, like how like what happens if you know if they happen at the same time? What comes first? the ejaculate or my urine. And she said, Logan, I think, you know, one reaction overrides the other. And that was the most important thing she ever taught me. It's fucking traumatizing. She's a nurse. Why would you ask your mom? So not every single time you're like, uh, uh, you're like, thanks ma. Now I know why. Yeah. My mom taught me about finding better hiding spots. She found oh. all my drugs. I mean, my mom was the <laughs> fucking best. Dude, I couldn't, bro, I put shit in the weirdest spots. Like, mom, what are you doing in my ski boots today? Why were you in my fucking ski boots? She's like, I found a half a pound in your ski boots. I'm like, why, first of all, why do you talk like banks? <laughs> oh, mom, why are you talking like that? I just gave her the weirdest voice. No porn, Michael. <laughs> off, off, off topic, but I just want to know, dude, were you guys ever allowed to touch the thermostat growing up? Yeah, I was allowed to touch it to turn it down further. It only went one direction. If it was the winter, down. And if it was the summer, off. No AC allowed at the house and no fucking heat. Yes. I wasn't, so, yes, I wasn't giving the... Uh, it's so funny because <laughs> I still, to this day, when I touch it, I'm like, yeah, that's fucking right. I own this bitch. <laughs> and I like turn out. I'm like, oh, you know what? It's fucking hot here. I'm going to turn on. The Did you have that situation? Temperature's interesting because everyone you know, has a different feeling about temperature. I like the room cold. 69 degrees, I'm chilling. Oh. So did my dad and my brother. So we kind of all got along. We were, It wasn't a thermostat. This is not based whatsoever on personal preference. This we, is based on authority. Cost. No, yeah. it's it's cost. That's it. Parents, don't, parents aren't like, oh no, I, I actually like to wear a hoodie and feel cozy and keep the house a little cooler. It stays cold in the winter because it costs less fucking money to heat the house. Okay. So you don't touch that fucking thermostat. Are you paying the fucking bills to live here? Nope. Until you are, until you live under my fucking roof, you don't touch the fucking thermostat, you piece of shit, son. <laughs> I had this problem with girls, too. <laughs> this is that why never you happened. gotta do that. Never happened. That like, never happened. Fuck you, mom. I'm gonna grow up to do drugs all because of this. <laughs> She's like, what did I find in your snow boot? It's fucking cold in here, mom. I need something to warm me up. Heroin's doing it, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get arguments with girls because because after you have <laughs> no seriously after you have the issue and you run into it with your family, you grow up, you get a girlfriend. You know how many girls don't love the temperature at sixty nine degrees? You ever shower with the fucking girl? Yo, singeing hot, oh, singeing oh, hot. How? Okay. Because <laughs> I'm telling she you, knows. every time I hop in the shower with a girl, I'm, my skin is melting. <laughs> Why? How is that possible? How can they survive at temperatures that high? And and that's why I think women thrive in um, arid, deserted, absolute sun beating down on your skin type weather. And, you know, I, I again, I run hot, so I keep my environments cold. Typically. Do men, do men uh, naturally run a, a bit hotter than women? Is that like a more natural? Because there's a lot of science. Whoa. I mean, now you're being sexist. You're so sexist. <laughs> no, no, I mean, honestly, now you're being sexist. because that's generally the case. Like, women are always cold. I'm always hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always hot. Always. And also, there's a reason why r the the term room temperature exists. Do you guys know what room temperature is? It's how I like my water. It's usually con isn't it usually considered to be 68 degrees. Is that room temperature? No, that's not. No, is that wrong? Fucking idiot! It's the temperature wrong? of the room. I thought it was like 70. George, 71. you don't have to bully me here on Impulsive in front of all of these fans. It's not going to work, man. <laughs> they don't go that way. They don't go that way. Not going that way, They're man. like, no, no, no. Mike gets bullied fair. <laughs> They're all like, yeah, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Uh, all right, pop onto the pizza shit. Let's go. Papa John's. I can't believe it. What? You asked Wait. me. I asked you yesterday. Defines ambient room temperature as 77 degrees. Pharmaceutical industry controlled room temperature is 68 degrees. That, this didn't help. Go ahead. Papa John's. Sorry. Papa John's, 
You asked me yesterday when we got pizza. Yes. When we were high. <laughs> Do you want Papa John's? <laughs> Jeez, man. Or, or Joe's Pizza? And I had to go with Joe's Pizza because we all know <laughs> Papa John's is a racist. <laughs> and what? A, but apparently he's improving in the past 20 months. Improving and being a racist? Let's, uh... <laughs> Is he becoming a better racist? I don't know. I don't know. Here, I'm going to play this clip oh here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again, you have a public board that paints its chairman uh, complicit, passive, or active. They paint the founder as a racist. They know he's not a racist. It's just unbelievable. And I used to lay in bed just going, how did they do this? And we've had three goals for the last 20 months to get rid of this uh, N-word uh, in my uh, vocabulary and dictionary and everything else uh, because it's just not true. Figure out how they... I'm sorry, what did you say just now, Papa? <laughs> What's that, Dad? It's taking you 20 months to remove the N-word from your vocabulary? Well, that's not the part that shocks me. Huh? It, it does take a while to break a habit. The problem in my eyes is that that habit is belonging to a CEO of a massive corporation a year and a half it's that hard well, he probably dude something tells me this dude's been rocking huh? that bro let me ask you a question i'm so <laughs> lost ready what ready what the fuck is George, how do you not know about this well because uh, this, this is the this story is very lost all right listen imagine if somebody told this is not me what defending. is he coming in and just saying it like in rap songs or no, is he like who knows no we're not talking about soft a's here dog we're talking hard r's stop for a second let me explain <laughs> this okay <laughs> This has been an ongoing story. It's the reason why he's no longer the fucking CEO of Papa John's. He is a racist. He was born in a racist way. There's a reason why he's on OAN right now, because these are the kind of people that probably go on that fucking station. Okay. If I asked you tomorrow to 1000% immediately remove the word bro from your vocabulary, or, or some other word that you use quite often. So for you, it would probably be zeitgeist. <laughs> nutty. nutty or nutty. <laughs> zeitgeist. <laughs> you may have to set a long-term target. on. Rem and by the way, it, it, would, take, me. it would take this, me 20 months. That's what I'm to, saying. To stop saying nutty, dude. It would take, that's nutty. That's nutty of you to even ask me that. 20 months? Go yeah. It can't be that hard. <laughs> Joy. It really, I, I hear you. I'm with you on that too. Does he have a PR like, team? I'm really watching some people talk. Like, you know, I've worked, I've worked like, hard. Hire somebody. It's only taken me 20 so, months to get so, this out of my vocabulary. It's that's what we've been doing. We've sorry. had three goals. <laughs> so he, <laughs> yesterday I only said it nine times. That's it. So he's tied into all of this uh, conservative versus liberal uh, Trump type stuff. The reason why he re he actually resigned as the company CEO in late 2017 after he said that NFL leaders handling of the national anthem protests had hurt business for Papa John's. Uh, and the protest should have been nipped in the bud a year and a half ago. Yeah. He's not the only one. I feel like once you hit an age, you just got to you got to have to take responsibility of what you say. You know what I mean? I feel like if you if like I if uh, I, I recent, I'm not gonna say his name, but he was he was uh, going through a lot of things. They pulled up videos of him when he was like nine or ten years old at the park with his friends, and he was trying to act cool. And he said N word, and it canceled him. When you're nine or ten, you're developing. You know, there's words you shouldn't say. You know, that's a whole different story than when you're like forty years old. Why I think this is funny is because I think uh, I think a lot of people have had to practice this cleanse, as he calls it, or him trying to not say this word. And like, I'm telling you, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. He's like, I can't do it. He's like, I can't visit Nicaragua no more. It's too close. He's like, I, if I see martial arts experts and I, I want to call them ninjas, I can't say it. I got to say martial arts experts because the word's too goddamn close. He's like, I don't wear Nikes, only Adidas. The word's got too goddamn close. Anything with an I, anything with an I, I can't say it because it triggers me. I can't even say triggers. Cause it's too close. <laughs> it's too goddamn close to the word I want to say. I saw, I saw a meme. It said Papa John's when Gold Digger comes on, and it was the SpongeBob no. meme. <laughs> like, <laughs> Whoa. You know what gets me? I actually just texted somebody because they were doing a TikTok <laughs> and they were uh, lipping a song, and then the the N word came up in the song. And he mouthed it off, and I was like, 
Hey man, you can't do that. No, goes, oh, but I didn't say it. I go, but your mouth. No, so there's a whole <laughs> there's a whole play for that on TikTok. When the word comes, you're doing your yeah, dance, you your mouth, and every word. It's all set up. The fact that you guys don't rehearse this shit <laughs> kills me. That was know. rehearsed. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> this is but, the through, but this is a good... <laughs> no, Mike, when I say... And then when we'll you... say, y'all ready for this? Speaking of rehearsing, speaking of me and you being on the same wavelength, oh. speaking of you not even having to say things to me, we went through this oh. again the other day where you can just simply say, look at me, you're about to say something, I can yeah. then respond to it. <laughs> Uh-huh. Go ahead. Listen. What's your fucking problem? <laughs> I don't have headphones. So I wanted to see if I go like this. I'm prefacing oh. a fucking top your favorite thing. I'm prefixing oh, a so topic. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that brings me to question, some people are talking about it. You're leaving for Puerto Rico sure. after next week. It's happening, guys. Gone. Like this is no longer a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. It's happening. Now I will say this. For this particular leg, he is only leaving for about two months. Four. To f four months? Or are you saying four? Four. Lot? Training camp. To tra for training Tra camp. It's, it's training camp. I was getting that. To train for the Mayweather fight. Uh, so not four months? Two no. Months. It, like two, two. What the fuck is wrong with you? For now. You, just, you said two months and you said four. No, he said for the, was, for the. I was trying to alley oop my, yeah. my friend. But I did have it anyways. Scared I was going me. there. So, so, um, not as much concern here. Now, now the, the reason I'm bringing this up is for the next five days. Now, this is the first of impu impu impulsive history. We may have gotten close to this before, but this is definitely the world record. We are filming 10 consecutive episodes of impulsive. So for all the people out there watching this episode who said to themselves, God dang, Logan's leaving. Like, this is the end of an era. It doesn't appear that end is happening just yet. We are bagging up episodes with fantastic people such as Jeff Wittek, yep. Olivia O'Brien, Chris DiStefano, Summer Ray, Chris Brown, Jason Ellett. That one's not true. I know, but that'd be so cool. It would be dope. <laughs> that'd be so cool. Um, so I wanted to bring this up uh, just because I think there, I've been seeing some comments what about the end of, of the era, bro, that has been this duo this, this partnership this, this bro. era will never and end. I, and I, it's I, never ending. i know it's a never ending era george i we get it bro what the fuck dude you said the duo. comments are on my you said duo. shit duo george, duo. george you see you you, 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 you in flame you in flame you in flame massages are like good no one wants to see his bare feet anyways god dang it the girl will get to the bottom feet and be like i need help i can't do this by myself <laughs> all right go ahead you're you're leaving you're a troublemaker troublemaker because they're commenting on my videos yo uh, and they're not saying, like, you can't leave Logan and George. Like, I'm just bringing the fucking point up, all right? All right, go ahead. All I'm saying is this. Go ahead. All I'm saying is this. Logan's going down there for a couple months. Some crazy shit's going to happen. By the way, me and George are going to start collaborating a lot more because we're very good friends, and everyone knows that. Uh, and uh, we're bagging up these episodes. So there will be not much of a lull between him leaving for Puerto Rico, the fight, and coming back less to than, the desk. Le less than last year's lull for the fight. Right. Because uh, we took the month off before. It just gets to be too much. So we're going to absolutely destroy our vocal cords, our <sighs> mental capacity, our physical strength. This week, we're doing, like you said, 10 episodes. It's crazy. Two a day for five days. Uh, and so we'll have them all, all bagged up. And then I believe Mike's actually going to come out to PR to shoot an episode as well. Or a couple. Yeah. Just, to, just to bag up stuff down there so we can get through the, the end of it. And then we'll be back, and then we'll be back, and it will be like yeah. nothing ever happened. It's like a little pinch, guys. It's like a little, a little. Wait, you're going to shoot impulsive out there? You're coming. You're coming. I didn't get the memo. Well, no, we I didn't did. even finalize all this shit yet, George. It just seems like I'm being left out again. George, Go George, down. George, can you talk to this guy? He's being a troublemaker. I don't think Logan. the audience is buying it anymore. I don't think they're buying. it. I do it. think you're you're starting to lose your your ability to sell them on it. I don't think they're buying it. <laughs> I feel like the ones that are just youngins. Let's they're like, uh, maybe George is hurt badly. I, I, I actually brought up, I, brought, I, got a, I have a topic I want to talk about. Sure. Is it? Go for I it. I went to a gathering, not a party, a gathering with a lot of people. Social distance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a party, but there was a ton of people there. Okay. And uh, everybody was, were super conscious and safe, but it's been a long, it's been over a year since I've had any gathering with people from our career choice, you know, social media and uh, man. Seeing them in real life versus edited versions of them. 
hey man, should be illegal. And I'm not taking any shots. And I actually wrote down in this in my notes, I'm like, am I taking this too far? But you know what? They're taking it too far. <laughs> what the fuck? It, I said hi to them. I was like, hey, what? nice to meet you, George. They're like, George, it's me. Beep, 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 beep. And I was like, what the fuck? And I like, went on my phone. I was like, oh my God, yeah, that's what you look like. You motherfucker. You know what? This is why depression anxiety is on the rise is because you look like fucking Bigfoot coming out of the fucking woods. George. Sorry. It's freaking Bigfoot Day. coming out of the woods. <laughs> and then on Instagram, you're like, why do I use Chris right in these streets is because my teeth are perfect. No, they're not, bitch. No, they're not. <laughs> you hired somebody to edit that shit and put it together. You look like Mr. Potato Head and they just put George, you in George, who He's genderless you. now. He's genderless now. Oh, yeah, he's not actually you a man look like anymore. Potato Head. He's, he's genderless now? Yeah. yeah. They just take and put it on whenever I think you, you put a dick or a vagina on it. Whenever Anything you want. You want. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. kind of cool. That You know what? That toy really does work for that, that whole process <laughs> yeah. going on. Can't say much about it without getting canceled. Moving on. Anyways, so basically, yeah, talking to these people and I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? What is happening here? And then I was like, you know what, George, you're a Christian. You can't talk ill about people out loud. You got to keep it inside and then ask God for forgiveness. So then I was like, you know what? No, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, that just don't deserve that. They, yeah. they look at that and they're like, I'm not like that. Neither are they. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good do call. you, do you, um... Was this your first time ever going out in Los Angeles? Out of curiosity, you know what it is. Because <laughs> what the no, no, fuck no, no, are you no, talking no, no, about, dog? Like, listen, I say this all the time. When don't you, ever meet your favorite Instagram model in real life. Don't do it. Just keep her on Instagram. No, keep her on Instagram. Before, hear me Just out. keep her right there. She's got. She's. She looks great there. Just keep her on fucking Instagram. She, she's like far. She's like good from far, but like far from good. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you and that goes for guys too. You know. I'm oh, hundred percent. And I'm dude. just gonna be honest with you. If you're trying to hit the gym, don't hit fucking Facetune too. <laughs> because these dudes are skinnier than me. I'm not talking shit anymore. I'm bookmarking it because I'll probably come back to it later. But <laughs> I will say this. Before, when I used to see them casually and then see them online and see them casually, I, I remembered. I was like, okay, that's not what they look like. But then being a year apart, you forget. Oh, yeah. You forget. Yeah, age is not uh, affecting people that well. Most I, turn, people. I turn to my girlfriend. I go, I, I thank God that you look just how you do in pictures yeah. because I don't know what I'll do. If I looked at you in real life and, and just that is that is know, talk, dating somebody time is time is taking its toll on a lot of these people, <sighs> including us. Except him for some reason. I don't know why he looks younger every year. Wait, whoa. Even though he he looks mature in that outfit today. You look sexy. Hey, you that know outfit. you know these some TikTok said, stars. You know what I noticed? Yeah, they got tick tick ticks. <gasps> yeah, TikTok stars have tick. You were telling ticks. me this? Oh, I I can't believe it. Like I'm I'm not even kidding. All they do is the the manual. The the mannerisms. Yo, no, what, he's not yo, what, no, no, no. What he's kidding. what he's talking about actually is is, is when I when I uh, when they talk. That's it. When he first said this, because in all honesty, like the reason he's saying this, I'll call out uh, Paige, 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 Faith 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 Ordway. <laughs> well, I don't know why I always go to Paige Faith Ordway because she came and hung out. We did some content together, and she continues it going. Uh, like like if you go to hand or something, they fucking <laughs> like you know what I'm saying to grab it. But uh, but it's not just because like, even like that the Pammy baby, the girl that we're gonna be working with, she was on stream last night and they do like the um, Everything. I cannot believe no, that's you what said I'm saying. this last week. That's what I'm saying. I was noticing that they do the um, they'll like do cross eyed and like do the like really animated yes. like shit that like Belle Delphine does. Yeah. But during normal conversations, yeah. you're like, uh, does uh, does that complete your order this evening? And like they do the fa like you're at a Wendy's drive through. Like why are you? Doing that face is because that you know I've, I've, he's right. I think it's because when they shoot these TikToks, people think it's like a one take. It ain't a one take. It's like 15, 20, 30 takes, and they post multiple times. And I think they just they, it just <laughs> creates becomes, habit. It yes. becomes habit. so so. But also because I start laughing like because <laughs> I made fun of a fucking guy that laughed like that. Now I laugh like a Windex bottle. Like <laughs> but but also like anything else, like anything else that comes with social media. Once you start to assign a metric like likes, comments, that kind of stuff to a certain action that happens IRL, sure. your brain, I feel like, notices, oh, when I do the cross-eyed or when I do the, like, whatever, I can't fucking do any of it, but whatever faces they make, I get this reaction from the online community. So now I'm going to apply that to real life. Sure. Because if I do the cross-eyed in a conversation, if I do, like, a cute smile in the conversation or, like, for some reason, like, what are they, can you do the nose scrunch? Yeah, like that. If I do that during a conversation about my mortgage, like maybe I'll get a better rate on my refi. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's spilling over. 
that feedback that they get from TikTok is spilling over. Oh, we we saw it with Belle Delphi. I couldn't admit it on that show because I had a girlfriend <laughs> on the time, but I, I no, no, no. Listen, no, I do you remember when Belle Delphi was making the fucking faces? She's, Can we talk? Did good, you good. have a girlfriend she, at the time too? Yeah, but wait, that hold episode? on, hold on. Well, I want to talk about this because we were very. But those weren't. I'm, those were not TikTok faces. Those were Belle Delphine e girl faces. There's a difference. TikTok stars have TikTok ticks. That's what I'm saying. They're very specific to TikTok. But, I don't. Mm -mm. Belle Delphine was doing like e girl faces. What's bro. the difference? Show me an e girl face. Yeah, that is that's sh oh my god, that is true. You know what I'm saying? That is, is true. I thought I'm you were getting say, into semantics, but you're absolutely uh -uh. there's different. a different and the e girl ones are are actually more sexual. It's, it, e -girls the e girl do this one. ones are more they sexual. Do this with their lips. Yeah, like I'm sad. Like anime, I'm sad. Then what's a TikTok one? Oh, you're you had so much spin on your tongue. Yes. <laughs> do you guys remember growing up when a guy stuck his tongue out? You're like, I'm gonna beat you up. Like, don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Stop doing that. Yeah. I I what the fuck? No, Put your tongue no, back in no, your mouth. No, I'm I doing think it's because they're, nine they're pictures, all so all young. Out. They're all so young, dude. So what? Making faces is still it's uh it's it's your ner you're nervous. That's your safe zone. You're uncomfortable. You don't know how to actually talk to think about it. Actual people, <laughs> come on. How does that make sense? Can you imagine if you found your safe zone being scrunching your nose and making a net hit George for one. <laughs> I don't think so. They go, Dude, mine it looks like they're just yeah, no Logan's like great at it. Yeah, go ahead. Wow, I'm actually not. That should, by the way, uh, should be called like the Addison because like she isn't that like oh, her, yeah. isn't that her go her like most famous like, one. You want to you yeah. want you want to talk? Let's flip the script and talk about some shit that actually matters. If that you is say the either opposite. NFTs, Pokemon, or. Tax rates. Nope. But got it. The UFC fights that went oh down my this God. past weekend. Ooh. So I had a triple parlay on the Barstool Sportsbook. Uh, I was gonna. I, I had Sterling winning, Amanda Nunez, obviously, and then again, my boy Izzy. So let's go one by one. Sterling, Aljamain Sterling. First time I seen this dude fight it's for my UFC fans, and I loved it. I I don't know if I'd ever seen a fighter. Where every movement that he does parlayed itself into a strike. It was a his his forward pressure. It was sort of like water, but at the end of the movement was like a whip of some sort. And his pace was incredible. He had a super fast pace. First round, second round, third round, and you could see he started to slow down. And you weren't sure what was going to happen with the fight, but the the, the kid could take shots. Uh, and his opponent was a, a really solid fighter. And you have to be uh, weary wary of those because. They can catch you at any moment if you slip up, like fighters who wait for you to make the mistake. And when you're moving as much as you were and you're being as hectic and frantic as you were, because that's the word I would have used to describe his fighting style, frantic. And it was working for the most part, but you saw it started to slow him down a little bit. And right, I, I didn't want the fight to end. Um, the guy who's fight, uh, fighting Jan, um, yeah, just, just a solid, solid striker. And so they were doing a lot of uh, uh, striking, and then Aljamain ended up on the ground. This was right before he came over. Aljamain ended up on the ground, and the other guy, I think it was in Russian, asks his corner because he wasn't sure what to do. He said, yo, should I, should, I, should I knee? Should I kick him? And his corner said, yes, it was Khabib's corner. And uh, so he kneed Aljamain Sterling in the Damn fucking boy. head. Yeah. While he was down, while his knees were still on the ground, which is an illegal strike. Yeah. You know, ref calls the fight. Aljamain Sterling, like, out of it. Not KO'd, but concussed. Concussed for sure. And uh, they ended up calling the fight and disqualifying the guy, Jan, who was the champ, and giving it the belt and the win to Aljamain Sterling. Um, sort of, not. I don't know if controversial is the right word, but started conversation nonetheless. And nonetheless, around um, just how how bittersweet of a win that is for a fighter who works that that hard, and you won by DQ. And again, who knows what would have happened? But uh, in my opinion, like take that fucking win, chin up. I tweeted at him, like walk around with that belt with your chest out. You deserve that shit. That strike was so disgustingly illegal, and you know I've thrown an illegal strike in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that. That was like intent to kill. You knew it was illegal. The referee said, yo, don't don't kick him while he's down. And he still chose to. Oh, wait, the ref said don't yeah, do it? Yeah, oh, you, and then what the fuck? You remember they showed the clip of the ref whispering yeah, in the doctor's yeah, yeah. ear like, I told him not to do it. 
Yeah. Wait, really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> he like purposely is whispering. They're like, here's the audio you weren't meant to hear. <laughs> and it was this like tight up mic of, but the, the, the interesting thing about that fight is like, he should hold his head high because it was an incredibly close fight. It was an incredibly good fight. Yeah. And like it could have, he he could have potentially won that fight. Anyways, the the yeah, tougher yeah. ones are when you're getting your ass beat by somebody. Anyways, like say he was gonna lose the fight one thousand percent, and then he gets kneed in the head. He he can't yeah. celebrate that as much. He could have very well won that fight. I agree. So I I, I agree with you on that. I agree. He threw the belt on the ground. I've never that seen that. That was a little. He he got very per, a bit performative and a bit um exaggerated. He, it he, it I seemed felt it like seemed he was, like he was being a bit of a drama queen. I I I really do. I don't. He, 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 like, he walked out, you know, with his arm around his boy, kind of, like, limping a little bit. Like, fighters who get, like, knocked the fuck out don't walk. They just, like, walk out normally. I thought he was, I thought he was being a, a bit dramatic, if I'm being honest. But, like, yeah, fuck it. F like, flop. You know, be a showman. But, or, or like, also, it is it is worth noting, too. Like, obviously, a ton of emotion and, a ton, and sure. like, that and that feeling of training for something and having it, like, if, if he felt like it was taken from. I mean, I, I, I felt similarly. But it's it's hard to tell someone in that situation like how to feel or how to act. I watched a video today of some guy that was doing the uh, one of like Tour de France. He popped his back tire on his bike after training for six months for it. And he was in the lead, and the, the cars didn't stop to help him from the with the wheel. And he just sat on the ground, and just started crying uh -huh. for like twenty minutes because no one helped him. So like, yo, you train for something like that, and then it gets stripped from you by something outside of your uh, ability to to control. Yeah, that's tough. Yep, yep. And then Amanda Nunez, obviously. Uh uh, uh what, I mean, what now? Do you put her in the men's division, and does she beat everyone there? <laughs> Dog, honestly, Auto her name should be automatic. Like, bro, why? I said, why do you even get in the ring with her? What, what's yeah. your, what's your, what's your, your, what exactly is your intent? Just to say you fought her? <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like me going get in a fight against a brick wall. You're not gonna win. She's won 11 straight bouts. That she, doesn't make much sense. And you all, all in what? Well, because you just wouldn't take take much damage from a brick wall either, I guess. So yeah, you would. It would be a draw. yeah, you would. Go hit a brick wall. Tell me how it goes. That's true. Okay, you're, you're fair, gonna be fair, damaged. Fair, fair, fair. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, she. But a brick she, wall that I could attack. That's even more dangerous. <laughs> that's that's Amanda Nunez. Yeah, it is, it is. And, and her interviews are all, always so good. She's always just so happy. Yeah. She had a kid. She yeah, brand new baby, brand yep. new baby daughter, which is cool. Yeah, she's uh she said that. She got that that mama bear instinct now. She wants to fight even harder now that she's a, oh a mama, which sucks for all her future opponents. <laughs> Good luck. And then, yo, Izzy. I just can't win a sports bet, dude. It was so close. The parlay was so close to hitting. We snuck away with that Sterling win. Um, Nunez took it. And then Izzy. It's tough because Israel Adesanya, I tweeted this. Somehow they showed it on, on the UFC. I thought my brother's beef with Dana White would burn any bridge I ever had with them, but they showed it on, on the on the screen, which was cool, that Israel Adesanya is one of the uh, greatest combat sports fighters of the generation. It's always a privilege, a treat to watch him. And uh, it, it, it was, but the, the guy he's going up against, Blakowicz, Bla John Blak... It's uh, Polish power. He, he holds the entire power of Poland in his right hand. He can move it couple inches and there's thousands of pounds of, of pressure and but, force but then it. in the end that wasn't what got the job done it was it was simply being outclassed it was it, it, sorry not outclassed outweighed you know what i'm saying i mean he utilized he utilized his absolute uh uh higher volume and mass to dominate on the his, the ground game yep. you know what i'm saying and there was just no way for izzy and izzy was doing everything in his in his power in the last round to slip out of that and he was and they were saying yo this is actually a mistake on Izzy's part to try to to power out of it he needs to make some technical maneuvering to try to get out but he just couldn't get it done he went up a weight class yeah. and there's an inherent risk when you do that he said in his post fight interview dare to be great and he did and and he didn't come out <laughs> favorable uh this time but that's an awesome loss oh yeah it's an awesome loss if you're going to lose he even said if i had to lose i'm glad i lost to him so that dude's a, that dude's that dude's a power. When I watch fights like that, I'm kind of like, this is what like a Jason Statham movie would be like if you took like those fighters and put them in an octagon. Yeah, bro, they're getting hit with things that would put us in critical condition, and they're just like, <sighs> yeah. Izzy took some big <laughs> shots. Izzy did walk off some cl big shots. Yeah, they both got, did. They both did. Um, Blackowitz. Well, yeah, but Izzy said, was Izzy wasn't gonna hurt him. No, he said he said really? he said the two things he didn't expect was Izzy's speed and how hard he hit. Really? Yeah. But yeah, at, at 
he weighed in at 205. Izzy weighed in at 200. And Blackowitz probably walked in the ring about 215, 220. <laughs> so, then, so then I start going, oh, wow, that's crazy. Two really good fighters. One of them weighs probably, probably 15, 20 pounds heavier. What happens when a fighter weighs 30 to 40 pounds heavier than a guy he's fighting? I'm just saying, dog. The weight... Is important. Big ass, kind of Polish looking white dude against a much smaller black dude who's the favorite. Wow. Like, wow. wow. <laughs> well, I, don't know. I don't know if you need the. This is going to be kind of skin color in there at all. You it's, know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Right? It's <laughs> a fucking you, where another you get similar. Your pizza from, huh? <laughs> where do you get your pizza from? <laughs> no, Papa John's, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it is. There's a lot of similarities that oh, just continue. There's a lot of power in these Ohio hands. All right, relax, dog. I, it was. All right, man. I mean, you got you got to see a chance, right? Huh? What? You got a chance, right? Yeah. Suck my dick, bro. It just suck may my, my dick, bro. happen. Nice. Or may not. Well, but you, but you know what? We, you, you, yeah. It was a joke about the month of May, George. But forget it, okay? What else? What I, else we got? I found this interesting. I was over George's house yesterday. <laughs> he force fed me an edible. It's kind of fucked up. I asked for consent, and he said yes. Because I'm in training camp and stuff. You should ask Bad a couple influence. times because sometimes they miss here the first time. And, 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 All this is being cut. In our in our high state, <laughs> <laughs> in our high state, we turned on YouTube. We wanted to watch some stuff, and we were scrolling on YouTube and watching content on YouTube for what we were stuck. Yeah. On YouTube. And I said to myself, "Yo, this is crazy." Normally, we go we go to each other. Hey, you want to come over and watch a movie? Why don't we say? Hey, you want to come over and watch YouTube? That's just as fun of an, of an activity. Gen Z has to be doing this. Yep. Like this, it's surprising to me because we didn't do that. We, you know, watch movies and television programs, and now you can just you can browse YouTube for hours, mm, hours so on it. Mm, no, so yeah, much. Not to derail. I'll derail for a hot sec. I don't think Gen Z is doing that. I don't. When you ever see stories posted or people watching your YouTube video, it, it's kind of a lonely exercise, man. It's kind of a lonely act. Like, when's the last time? Like, I know what you guys were saying about last I night. Disagree. Danny, Danny I disagree. I disagree now. No, 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 yeah. guys, guys. I'm not. This is. I'm not talking about the outliers here. For the most part, I believe YouTube yeah. is a soul activity, an individually uh, digested piece of content. If you're watching this right now, uh, we're gonna put a poll on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching this alone or with others? We'll never ever <laughs> put the poll on the screen. I will meet you halfway. I think mostly when people like get on, yeah, they are watching by themselves when they're either one taking a shit or waking up in the morning. But I will say when people come over to people's houses now, I think because people have a hard time choosing what to watch, they just put on YouTube. I think they just content. put on YouTube now. Yeah. Um, Why is choosing what to watch also the hardest thing in the planet? Ever. Hardest thing I've ever done. Harder than training camp. Harder than any fight I've ever had. Also harder than trying to maintain a relationship. I cannot it, choose what to watch on Netflix. If ever. you have a problem getting hard, you should take a blue chew. Funny you say that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a sponsor today, and it goes like this. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us. Blue, blue Chew. chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erosions. It's erections, I believe. Right. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. They help men achieve harder and stronger erosions. It's, uh, I believe it's erections. Right. To combat all forms of ED, erosion, dysfunction, uh, Blue Chew. Once I believe it's erections. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversation, no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and ships right to the door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their online medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. And the best part, it's all done online. If you don't like swallowing pills, there's no problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. They're made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct. So it's cheaper than a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And I got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free, free. When you use the promo code Logan at checkout, just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code Logan to receive your first month free. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Back to the program. It's because people are going into these circumstances <laughs> actually believing that they're going to watch a movie still. It, it, you, you're not going to watch them. Just people need to uh, to limit and lower their expectations a little bit. Lower the bar for yourselves. You're not going to watch a movie. You're going to watch a lot of previews. 
don't set the bar so high. No one's actually going to watch a piece of Netflix content. You're going to scroll through the recommended for you bar first. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find something that they've offered to you that you kind of like, and you're going to watch titles related to that. Just the, just the, the, um, the, the trailers. How much money does Netflix have uh, using trailers? Because their eight minute previews must have ads in them. Why is every trailer on a Netflix movie 10 minutes long? When I'm done watching the trailer, I'm done watching the movie. It's done. Yeah. Really? Is that true? I, 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 I didn't I, notice that's that. Something I Bro, it's that. 10 minutes long. You watch the movie, like any, you're Go to any, it's literally so fucking long. Can I ask you a question? What's one thing that you generally are when you're watching Netflix? Happy. What else? Stoned out of your fucking mind. Fuck so, your like, what? Fuck. What really was one minute might have felt like eight, George. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, Danny, maybe you should stop, stop smoking drugs, drugs too. Drugs, too Danny, right? you can drugs. No D. No, no D. D. No D. D. You're on my side. I'm sorry. I just thought I wanted. No, I'm fine. I'm just saying I watched the whole trailer and then decided not to watch the movie because they just told me I it's too long. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. She's it, saying she's, yeah. So another thing I've noticed too about the trailers, and then please, by all means, get into the thing that you're going to say here because we've sidetracked this horribly. Uh, what about the trailers when they don't have a trailer for like the older movies and so they just show one scene and you just have to work with that. That's all the information you're given. It's just one scene from the movie. Oh, that's weird. And it's for older movies. Older movies. Older movies because yeah. they're too lazy to cut a trailer. Yeah, they're like, ooh. And they don't really, want to buy the rights. There wasn't, tra toasters weren't even Yeah, they show a scene that has nothing to do with them. Yeah. <laughs> Go but, ahead. Uh, no, in, in, in my baked state, and we were scrolling YouTube, passing the time, watching, you know, God knows what. We were talking about who the highest paid YouTubers are. Mike, can you tell me who the highest paid YouTuber is? Well, as of the past couple of years, Jimmy, it has been a man by the name of Ryan. Ryan Toy Time. time. He's like six. Six, or seven 12. years old. No, I think he's like. So I, I, I said, that's crazy. I knew this. I know all that. He beats everyone's ass every year. In the, and, in, the in, in the octagon. In the octagon. And, and, and I'm proud of the kid, <laughs> except I realize I have no idea. Well, he does. I don't know what, what Ryan's toy time is or what Ryan's world looks like. George goes, yo, why don't we watch some? And I'm like, this is perfect. Have you ever watched a Ryan's world I video? Have. Okay. I have. Yo, yo, this kid's brilliant. Oh, yeah. I finally understood. I was like watching his videos. First off, he's six, seven, so charismatic. It's a, it's weird watching someone who's seven do the same job as me, dude. <laughs> like, like, yo, you're what? Imagine I'm watching him do it better than you. I was like watching. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. This kid is like scripted. He's got story beats. He set up the shots. He's like um, outlined exactly what he's going to do to prove his point and say what he's going to say. Hold, hold, slow down. No, slow no, no, role. no. It's script. It's you whole, think he's we, scripting we it, We watched, the, we watched one on scripted? physical he's change. Like, so it's like, a I finished, video. finished my Cheerios. He's teaching kids. He's teaching. No, it, the, whole, he's the whole thing fucking. was scripted. The whole thing was scripted. So dog, he, dog. Don't just I'm not him. saying you he, don't know. Mike, obviously he doesn't script it, you darse. You don't know. Obviously, Dark. freaking doorknob. So he's an actor. Yes. Okay. But, but there's more than seven, that. Bro, That's what I'm he's saying. He's already had a career path change, bro. He went from rating toys and now he's doing science. At the age of seven or eight, he's already like, what kind of science is he doing? Physical change. We know all about it. All about it. All, we know all about what a physical change is thanks to Ryan Sword Time. Check like so, like this is confetti? Watch. Still confetti. Physical change. <laughs> so he didn't you, add anything new. You're talking about the like state, change of states? Like That's fr for this particular video. And yep, yep. And then his dad comes in. And his dad plays along. He's like, oh, you know, I'm I'm Ryan's dad. And I'm They here should I cast am. a new dad, by the way. Okay. They're thinking about doing terrible, it. No, terrible they are. father. They are. <laughs> terrible father. Do you know who they, they're talking to? Kevin Papa, Hart. Papa John's <laughs> CEO. <laughs> The kid's brilliant. I was so happy. I was so happy. I finally understood it. I'm I'm buying all of Ryan's toys at the at the time that I see them. There's a lot of YouTube content out there, dude. Man, I, I great content. Too. We watch we watch Emma Chamberlain. We watch Emma. D I'm gonna be honest. The, you get sucked in. You you can't come out. I, I, she makes great content. By the by the way, I'm gonna make YouTube content with all with some of these highly uh, requested people over the next couple of months. I'm, I'm t I'd like to get Emma Chamberlain to do some food stuff because she already does food stuff. And then most importantly, I'd like to somehow twist his arm, grab his dick. Twist his little toesies to get Danny Duncan to do something. <laughs> Anybody besides himself. That was the only person you could say a joke like that. Dude, I was gonna be like, like where no, Because yeah. if you were gonna talk about the guy who rates toys, you no, get canceled yeah, immediately. It'd be over. He then I'd be Probably working at Papa John's. That, huh? No, do you not nothing's getting cut, George. We're not fucking twelve anymore. Stop. Okay. 
Nothing fucking gets caught. All right, listen. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. Yes, Danny Duncan, that would be great. Danny, if you're watching this or see this clip. We watched him too. Let's do something. Yep. We watched him too. He's great. He's fucking great. Yeah. He's and, great. You know, it's funny because I turned to you and I said, this is why I watch Danny Duncan. He's hilarious. So he doesn't give a fuck. And he's a sweet person in real life. I, I always like watching people that are nice. He's very athletic. I had one he's great very workout. Athletic. I had a workout with him and a post-workout meal. Uh, and it was very nice. He's a very nice guy. He's very reckless. Which I like Bro, a lot. He doesn't give a but but IRL too. In like it's life. not just it's not just the videos, dude. Like like I, like when we're doing like a hundred in that Tesla, or he's doing burnouts and like you like crazy spinouts in the Tesla. He's doing that with no video shooting. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's his life. Yeah, yeah that's he just, he he's really shit. about it. About it. He's from ra he's a rags to riches oh, story heavily. I actually when I watched a video that he like gave his mom a house, and I was legit like crying, and he did it in a non corny way, and I was like, fuck, you got me. So. I, I, I really, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and I say it all the time. Also, Emma Chamberlain, my girlfriend showed me her and the first time I watched it, I was like, why the fuck are you watching? This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my I life. I can't believe you said How that. How dare you? Yeah, no, honestly, thing. that you can get Second time, for. I was like, the fuck's she doing? Come on. And then I sat next to her. Third time, I was like, bitch, turn it on. Hurry up. <laughs> Let's get this going. Emma posted. Why is she so <laughs> Why is she so fun to watch? She's just so fun to watch. And it's not like, it's not like our style of like, uh, really fast, like super cut no, up, yeah. like high action yeah. content. She just, she just has the ability to keep you engaged with what she's talking about. And it could be like, you know, like I've watched a couple episodes of her, like taste testing breakfast foods from drive throughs and stuff like that, which is, I, which is a format that I love, but like, it's not the same. It's not super cut up. It's very long form, but everything she says is like kind of funny and she, and it's all shot by her and probably edited by her as well. Mm. Like it's very, it's very, she posted a video of her cutting cheese. I swear to you, Mike, I was eight minutes in cutting cheese. Shot did not move. Same what do you think it is? Shot. What do you think it is? And I'm like, why am I still watching this? Were you high? No, sober. Sober. By the way, you guys keep saying like I'm high, like I'm high all the time. You, I only get high before I go to bed. Well, are we you wanted high? to talk to you about something. Are guys. you high right now? I read your book. Do you, ever, do you ever get nervous? Nervous. Now I am. <laughs> it was a Lil Wayne fucking song, but anyways. Uh, oh, is that a song? Don't, George, I'm going to make a lot of references you're not going to understand, okay? Well, I'm not you're 40. Like, uh, what do you want from me? I got that one. Because he's not 40? No, because I pay attention to culture. No, Mike. Oh, actually, keep walking. Damn, look at those ass cheeks in those pants. <laughs> Any mortgage you want to sell? I'm Ooh. buying. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what? amazing. You shouldn't make an OnlyFans. <laughs> Did you have some? I got some. What? I got I got other stuff, but I, your stuff's probably better just because you're a culture relatable. I have creator. a story. So, yo, how long after a hookup to start? How long after a breakup to start hooking up with other people? Oh, you were, you were going to go. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck you. Uh, I say, if, <laughs> is it really over? Or is it like kind of over? <laughs> Fucking over. Dude. It's over? I would say <laughs> immediately right after. Really? Because like, that's his game too. Like, Within like, 24 oh, sorry, hours. Okay. okay. <laughs> Dude, I suck, bro. I'm like two weeks deep now. Deep in what? Papa John's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, or whatever. Fuck that topic, I guess. What do you got, Logan? Just a story. Oh, we love stories. Okay, yo. Impulsive, the world's number one podcast. I'll tell you what. Being single is crazy. So crazy. Crazy game. You, don't act like you know. I don't know. Fucking wife dumb he, ass, he found out more stuff about ass, my girlfriend. Head ass looking and he just looks at me and goes, ass, I'm gonna kill you. Ass, Wiped up. Ass, oh, this is happening. Ass, fucking movie night ass, fucking stand, head ass, settle ass, fucking ass, settling ass, 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 get married ass, 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 one girl for the rest of my life type <laughs> ass. <laughs> it was the left over, dog. <laughs> head ass, sit on a couch <laughs> ass, watch Emma Chamberlain type <laughs> ass, head ass. Yeah, you chilling. This is why all the co-hosts leave. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yo, yo, next week, next week, George wants to move back to Ohio to focus on his heart. And we're like, wait, what? <laughs> what? George, why? You don't even do art. You're not from Ohio. <laughs> why are you going back there? Yeah, Everyone immediately, back. yo, there's going to be a small settlement in Ohio of, <laughs> of impulsive three slots that just all live there and focus on art. So how you doing, Spencer? Pretty good, Mac. How's <laughs> you see George lately? Oh yeah, he's down at the stencil shop. <laughs> Grabbing some new fucking some glitter and stencils for his next yeah. art project. I text Mac every <laughs> once in a while, and, and this is the last. This is I'm not exaggerating. Uh, I'll just fucking say it out loud. I don't have to read it. But <laughs> have you ever texted him? He gives you, uh, he gives you only a leeway of conversating with him, conversing with him, conversation. You, you could do both. With him? You could do both. Whatever. 
Uh, I go, yeah, man, blah, blah, blah. We're just talking. And he goes, in seven words, tell me how you're doing. Yeah. You know, bitch. He's incredible. Uh, what if I want to use eight? No. <laughs> why no, 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 do, no, no. Do you want to Brevity. know? Do you want to know why? Why? Because he's on his phone for a window of probably six minutes a day. Like he doesn't have time for bullshit. Also, if you notice, can the, I say something that's changed my sure, life? Sure, go ahead and say something before I do. Okay, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Oh, have the tables have turned. <laughs> uh, this is what I, I like to say. Let me preference. This has changed my life. Preface. Let me preface. Breakfast. No, let me, let me breakfast. I will never say it right <laughs> on the show, ever. I will never, ever say it right. I won't do it. Slaughterhouse. Anyways, let me preface it. And Did I say it right? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Y'all ready for this? Da, 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 Fuck. I didn't want to do that. Anyways. Um. I have this new routine. It's it's re it's literally helped me out so much. I do not touch my phone until eight thirty. Wake up seven o'clock. Do not touch the phone at all, regardless of what it is. No text. No emails. No Instagram. Nothing. Wake up. Meditate. Pray. Do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight thirty <laughs> in the morning. Sick man. Yeah. Fuck that. Yo, have you seen Max? Art? Dog. No, wait. Don't no, stop. Fuck that. No, stop. Have because I want to go. No, because I no because I want to talk about Mac. <laughs> I want to talk about Mac. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that whole theory. Fuck that. Mac. Wait, His no. art is getting very good. Yeah. It His was good. You guys just didn't appreciate him. Like, you don't appreciate me now. It was It was okay. His art now is getting very good. It's, it's always been good. So art's subjective, so we can go back and forth on this all day. But now I see his shit, and I'm like, oh, wow. This move to Cleveland, like, whatever it is, like, I think he found it there. So and, and that's, by the way, that's the same conversation I had. Like, and I don't think there's uh, any uh, problem with believing in improvement. So you're With saying he's so you're saying he's graduated the toddler stage of his artwork. Well, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did infamously say that a toddler could do this. That same specific art. painting that I he asked for. Reason, at, man. Am I wrong? That's particular painting. Yes, the stuff he's doing now. It's great. no, it's incredible. Great. It's very good, yeah. and I believe he should sell them on the blockchain as NFTs. Yeah, I think but he also, is. No, also he already is. I've been he afraid is. to tell him that because he'll go. My shit was always good. And I would go, I didn't think so. Oh, because he does. Art subjective. Like, who's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. right? Not me. Not him. No one. Like, I don't know. Just in my opinion, I think, I don't know. I don't know. He's 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 hitting the nail on the head But, right but he already is doing the NFC stuff, isn't he? Who knows? Who knows? Seven o'clock in the morning. Anyways, yeah. Dog, seven seven o'clock in the morning. No, no really, fuck, just to no, touch fuck. on this really cool. Who off, are you? What are you, some sort of hero? Are you trying to be a hero? No, and then listen, I do an 8 30, 9 o'clock wrap up, which means at 8 30, 9 o'clock, I have to get through all my phone stuff and then I turn it off. I only, I don't turn it off. I leave it off for emergencies when my mom and dad call me. And, but, and look at you. You still can't say preface right. No. Look how far that's gotten you. Breakfast. What at what time do you have your preface? Uh, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and what do, you, what do you usually have for preface? Uh. <laughs> Hey, Reed, could you schedule my appointment with my therapist? <laughs> Thank you. Like this. And they're not buying it anymore, George. It's over. You lost, you lost the it. initiative. You cannot, you can no longer fool them into this belief system. No, he he's sort of right. The only reason why I disagree is I'm hella competitive and motivated by like the world around me and inspired by that. And so when I wake up and I see, oh, it's shit's flying, especially in LA, three hours behind, East Coast is popping. I go, oh, it's going. I got to catch up and I'm not a morning person. So looking at my phone gets my endorphins, my blood rushing, my head spinning. And then I'm like, boom, I got to get up. I got to kick yeah, some ass. Yeah, it, wakes, it, it forces it, me it, to wake up. You're right. And I notice that every day when you wake up around noon. Yeah, I was about to say. Like, dog, what are you saying right now? You When you wake up, <laughs> kids are getting out of school on the East Coast. No, no, no. What time I wake <laughs> like, up? What time I wake up? Yeah, today. One bruh, fucking time. Bruh. I was with him yesterday. It was like 12.30 p.m. All the curtains were closed. No, what time I'm like, I wake no, up? What time? He was up early today. Today, today. yes, today. Dude, when I come no, here, he looked at him to sleep. Wait, Mill looked at him right now like, he's my boss. Hey, boss, you want me to lie for you? You want wait, me to tell no, the truth? Like, look at me. Yo, if, I, if I'm tripping, if I'm tripping and I don't wake up at 9.20 a.m., six days a week, let me know. Put it this way. I was here early. I was doing a puzzle. When I looked up, over here, and those of us good morning over here. So I go, oh, he's up on time. Because sparring came in a little bit before 10. So he was up. I do, I do what have to, I do have to defend I'm him. Camp, I'm kidding, I'm Ooh, kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding. No, 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 no. Let me say why. Let me Mike's say a yes man. Boo. <laughs> Mike is only siding with him because he's on that side of the table. Boo. <laughs> Let me say why. Stop. One thing. Gotta stop taking this guy out. I didn't. Oh, that was George. Not, oh, that was jo he gave me edibles. Well, no, 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 but hold up, hold up. He, he does, he is telling the truth because he does. He's not going to be Mayweather, man. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> 
I was kidding. I've had Mike Tyson tell me that. I've had the California Commission tell me that. And I had my best friends tell me that. All you fuckers are going to suck the fattest cock when I knock this dude out. I swear to God, fuck uh, everyone. I woke Hold up on a today. Everyone. I sneezed Hold on a four second. times. <laughs> Hold on a second. Really quick. I did nah, not see. Nah, this is good because when I beat him, there's going to be the three people who did believe that was going to happen. Me, Jeff. Uh, uh, Adon and Milton. Wait and a second. And I my never dad, and my said, dad. And my dad. I never said you couldn't beat him. I said, Oh, get the fuck out of here. Play it back. Oh, yo. I would be living in a mansion, and the next mansion, none of my friends are Caleb, coming Caleb, with me. I don't live here. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Caleb, run the scene back from earlier. I said, You, you have a chance. Not that you have no chance. Not a I chance. said, You have a chance. Not a chance. 100%. It's just a really, really low chance. It's a hundred percent. Do I chance. want? Do I want you to win? Who are you pointing at? God. 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 You don't even talk God, to God's him. God's like, I whoa! It's God. been a while, man. Last time I talked to you, you thought you had herpes. I talked to God. <laughs> <laughs> or was it that you thought that girl was pregnant? What's that? Well, <laughs> it was the one and the same. <laughs> Have I ever seen the Queen's Gambit? Yeah. What did she do before she won a chess match? She looks up and then makes all the right moves. Where do you order your pizza? <laughs> Where do you order your pizza? Where do you order your pizza? What's your What's favorite, your favorite pizza place? My, uh, um, right here. Uh, oh, right here, Incorporated. Would love that place. Is it? Is it Papa John's? Mulberries. Uh, 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 yeah. Milk. 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 Can I ask you? This sign. Can I ask you one question? And I really mean this from the bottom of my this, heart. This is getting question. out of control. Ready? Ready? Y'all ready for this? Da, 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 I, ha I got to tell my story. I never got around to it. Oh, we suck. Wow. It's called impulsive for a reason. I know. I feel bad for people listening to this and they're like, yo, these guys are all over the They have popcorn. Place. They just fucking throw it. <laughs> Fuck these what motherfuckers. What the hell are they talking about? This, except for how to say press it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> press it. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Being single is crazy. So crazy. The stories happen. Because obviously um, every woman is different. Every human is different. Um, and so... When you when you're hooking up with someone new, there's it's a there's a bit of a dance, a bit of a finesse. You know, sometimes it's not always so smooth, especially when there's there's um you know things that go wrong during the hookup, which I'm about to describe. So I used to not go down on women often. I don't know what it was. I know, boo, go go. Boo, boo. International boo. Women's Day. Boo. Boo. I, mean, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was very young. I was very young and selfish. I just think I don't know. I, I didn't, why don't you just do the lick and split where they think it is, but you flick your tongue and make noise? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my God, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Thank you for that. Sorry uh, about that, mom. <laughs> no, but then I got in the relationship and I, you know, I started to uh, just play around, learn, learn a little bit more about myself, what I liked and like pleasing the, the woman has become a staple of my, of my uh, hooking up activity. And it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And so now I do. And you know, women I'm hooking up with, uh, some of them are surprised you know, that I, I now go down. And so I was going down on this girl <laughs> and, and she's like, wow, you, wow. Like you, like you're pretty, you're pretty good at this. I was like, thank you. Yeah. I have, uh, <laughs> make a face you want, but I've been called the best by some women. Cap. I've been called the Cap. best by some women. So the best at what? Cap. Going down. Really? Yeah. That's my man. Bro, if I, if I give a shit about something, I'm good at it. Like, I just feel like you'd be a locked jaw type of guy. No, Ice duh. In the job. no, I'm I'm cre I'm creative. I get I'm I'm a creative. What's your main? Yeah, what's your what do you, go to, what's you your go-to move? Uh, nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. Well, well, let me just stay nah, on track here. Yeah. Us here, split the team. So I'm going down on this girl. It's going great. It was probably there, for, you know, three four minutes, and then all of a sudden I'm like sniffling a little bit. I'm like. And I'm like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You went down and then you sniff. That's the wrong <laughs> order. You sniff and then you chow. <laughs> you don't fucking go. Go ahead. Sorry. I, I said sniffling. He was crying. Oh. He was sniffling. Crying. So I'm sniffling and uh, I'm like, oh, something's wrong. Am I going to sneeze? This is a weird place to sneeze. I hope I don't. And and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, oh, this is, it feels like a nosebleed. What the? And so, you know, I start kissing like the inner thigh a little bit. I'm trying to, trying to like keep the vibe up because, you know, I'm not trying to put a spike in the wheels of this hookup. And, and I'm trying to distract her a little bit and maybe not show her the fact that my nose is bleeding. And so I wipe my nose like this. Just to check, yo, my whole hand covered in my nosebleed. Sure, it was your 
I'm yeah, positive so everybody, it was my so everybody blood. everybody in the audience, including George, thought this story was going to the same place I thought it was when I no, heard it for the first time. It's not. I'm, I actually thought it was that. No, you I'm really positive did, it was George. my blood. I'm po- I went like this, and I so now I have to stop. This has gotten to a point of no return. Something needs to be done about this. I go, hey, I'm glad this is happening with you, because like I know you, and it's not crazy weird, but I still am highly embarrassed. My nose is bleeding. Um, whatever you just did to me with your pussy, you need to not do it again. <laughs> like fucking stop, you witch. It's, can you give me one second? And so I went to the bathroom and uh, you know, my nose was bleeding and I, I fixed it. And I, t- I told her, I came back and said, <clears throat> no, seriously, this is why this is fucked up. But I get hit in the head for a living now. I, I fight people three days a week. I get hit in the nose every day. Maybe, maybe, maybe once, twice a year, my nose bleeds. Nothing happened. Didn't get hit. Which just going down on a girl and my nose bled. And so I have no choice to but how to bad she's did in a, she she's smell? A, she's in a coven. She's a wicked. You put her in an oven? She didn't she, <laughs> after? No. Oh my God. No she, good. Why smell. would you do it? What are you some hands on Gretel type? What shit? are you sacrificed a goat on her? What What's the happening? Fuck are you doing? We're, all right, the only thing I can think of is the position you were in. Okay, so a lot so there's a lot there's a lot that goes into eating a proper Danny earmuffs. Just say coochie. There's a lot that goes into eating a vagine, okay? <laughs> Some people, now, at my age, obviously, I like to get creative. I generally ask the girl to do a headstand for it. And I and then I then just tilt over just slightly, and I can stand up. <laughs> and I and I, by the way, guys, if you haven't fucking tried this, you have to try it. This so you get great. them in a good possession. You get them in a good position. You get them in a good possession. <laughs> and then, They're like an NFT. You got to own them all. You and know? what happens is you actually are able to... Um, it, I call it kind of like bobbing for apples. You can hold their ankles and just go down from a Yo, from a you vertical. You are fucking standpoint. lying. Nah, I'm serious. You are lying. I'm 36 years old. This I is have crazy. to try shit. This okay. Is crazy. So forget that though. The position Logan's talking about in his infant stages of eating pussy is called the sniper position, and you guys should absolutely be in the sniper <laughs> position. You want if you if you guys should 1,000 percent be in the sniper position. Uh, your your weapon is your two fingers. Yeah, yeah. And that is what you pleasure the clitoris with over the fucking skin because don't drive them too fucking crazy. That's your lesson for today. Snipe it out until you learn. Then you can bob for apples. And if you get even crazy, if, guys, if you're watching this, you have some crazy fucking position you do that's even crazier than the headstand. You let me know, please. Cause I want to try. Wait, it. But it's your ass in the air or not? All right, chill, I Dylan. Stick my, I, I do. I do I, stick my ass. I up. actually. You're not supposed to. When I, you when you snipe, you're sub, you're, you should get completely flat. But I do generally end up in that can, position. And I will tell you this: <laughs> you are at a severe disadvantage if someone comes in to peg you in that position. Oh my like, god! Like, bro, bro, you are. It is the most. There is no more vulnerable position than sniping out a a, 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 a girl. With your ass straight up yeah, in the air, yeah, you're just true. you're you're completely exposed. You forget, and then you were like, "Oh wow, I really wow, you're like, I was wow, vulnerable." I, I, yeah, exactly. I, I lost the drop on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that in my ass right now? You know, you know what else happened? Oh, you got something to say? <laughs> I did, but then I can't follow up after that. That was, you know, what post nut clarity is uh, is when when you go ah oh, why yeah P- pretty much <laughs> basically ah. Why? If you hear from the next room, it looks like somebody got. <laughs> ah, why? Speaking of, do you have that don't, clip? Don't do it. Let's just stay on track. Don't do it. Anthrax? Nice. Go ahead. Okay. Picking up post not clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, after, after you nut, you know, you, I mean, who, God knows where you are, even who you are, what your intention is on this earth, what, what your purpose is. And sometimes, oh man, I. I regret all of that, right? And and sometimes if you're hooking up with a girl in a particular circumstance or a man, whatever, you know, floats your boat, it's like the poor the poor partner, <laughs> you want nothing to do with them. It's just the truth. It's just how it's it is. It's a major fact. It's, it, it's just how it is. But the other day I was masturbating. Violently. And, and, Can you add a, just violently. any adjective there? Violently. No, re- add the real one. How? Because I don't know Vehemently. how- you, are you serious? Furiously. No, can you please describe it really like your actual style with a word while you say that? Uh, I was <laughs> masturbating elegantly. Is that? <laughs> what is I elegant? Said, is it like what? this? I, I, just, <laughs> I turn my lights red. I turn my lights red. I spray scented uh, spray. Rose water in your face. The goddamn shit. right. Yeah. <laughs> while you treat yourself. Uh, yeah. Elegantly. That's so nice. Yeah. So I did, I did the, the deed, you know, you, and for the first time in my life. I had post nut clarity with myself. 
Bro, <laughs> you're I, like, I don't know uh, if I like myself. I looked at my hand. I, I went, you are fucking sick. Wait, that's the first time that's happened? I, dude, I didn't. I wanted nothing to do with myself. I was like, y- get out. Where you're I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you, let alone be in the same vicinity as you. And I'm, this is all me. Right, and I I never experienced anything like this. I was disgusted. Dead dead relatives situation, or were they? I don't watching? know. I don't know. Because Spike it, was watching. I, it's tough. It's tough when you because it's generally one of two things. So obviously, every time you masturbate, masturbate, your dead relatives are watching you. If you ever, you never take your eyes off the screen, so you might not know this. But if you look even into the corner of your room, you like will this. see your dead aunts, whoever, and they're and they all have the same face. It's fucking, it's fucking sick. Disgusting. Fucking, you're a disgusting. Person. Honestly, I took you to Testo's restaurant as a child, the Italian restaurant. They'd be a fucking shit. Never taking you to hobby shop again. Never. You you disgust me, dude. Look at you with your your fucking, fucking dick, in, dick your in your hand. Pathetic. You you guys have better better ones. This, Fuck you, George. This is okay. Guess what? We're not making something up. It's real. Okay, stop. So one, your dead relatives are watching you. Two, kind of depends on what you're watching. Oh. The post nut clarity for a masturbation se- session, I think, is semi based on what content you are taking. Hmm. If you're watching like an X, oh, if you're watching, oh. oh, that was a bad, that was supposed that was to be an so example bad. that has badly misfired. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna. Luckily, that is a catch-all for a bunch of my exes, so I can just, I got this, dude, right? If you're watching, like, some fucking hentai shit, maybe that's feels, maybe you feel less ashamed about that, mm. about watching that uh, tentacled eight-foot penis <laughs> penetrate that small one, <laughs> right? Maybe you don't feel as bad about that, but but maybe you feel a little bit worse if you're watching a, 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 a you know, elder on, I don't know, gangbang. Right, I don't, it depends on what you're consuming. Are you watching a, an elegant scene? I think the the content you consume needs to match up with your masturbation style. Mm. So if you're elegantly <laughs> masturbating, you should be watching some highly produced yeah. realtor porn. Okay, where it's a fake realtor. What were you watching that day? Can't recall. It was probably some. You know what else is weird? I had this is a second train of thought. It, it might have been. Ugh. You know how you come across those like those like uh uh step. Stepdad videos. Yes, I do know about those. Okay, dude, I was wondering because that shit's crazy. Wait, so were you consuming that on this day? I, I don't t- know. I've, I've, I, no, no, I don't think I was in this day, but I've I've seen those in my days. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I've seen those. Yep, yep. And uh, s- there's g- stepmom videos. Yep, you yep, know, yep. There's got to be someone out there who that really happened. Oh, to absolutely. Life. And I want to meet that person. <laughs> No, I want to meet. I want to meet the son who fucked the stepmom and caused a rift between the stepmom and his own dad. Your next guest, bro, has something similar to that. Really? Yes. 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 Who are we having on? Yes. Oh, he's wild. His name's Jason. He's he's wild. He's a legend. But I want to meet. I want to meet these people. Does that stuff get you guys going? Like, yo, yo, yo! Imagine you're a dad and you walk in on your son having sex with your wife. What does that dynamic look like for for the next week at dinner that night for the next decade? I think I want to know. The only, the only I want to meet these people. The only option you have is to hop in. Uh, uh, what? So Jason Ellis slept with the same woman his dad was sleeping with. I don't know if they were married. Oh, that's okay. So, so it's close. It's close. No. But I know these people exist, and I want to meet them. Comment below if you fucked your stepmom and your dad call you. I actually went to high school. With the same. Then I just wanted to leave it at that. You went to high school? I went to high school and this girl named, I mean, I can say her first name, right? Without saying her last sure. name. When you do that, her who name? are you asking? Like when you when you look around the room, who who do you expect I, to answer your question? I, I, just, I'm I just answered, out of curiosity. Go. Cool. You've changed ever since you put yourself together. <laughs> He's changed clothes ever since you put himself together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> she went, she transferred over because her father married her mother. His uh, This kid that I went to school's mom. And everybody at school kept making jokes like, oh, they're like, they're fucking blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, that can't be real. That can't be real. I'm washing my hands in the bathroom months after they've both been in the same school. And I turned <laughs> to the guy and I go, hey, man, is that like, are you are you really like, are you guys? And he goes, huh, yeah, she's hot, huh? <laughs> and I just go, 
Oh my Wait, what you mean? God. What you mean? So the guy, his, I don't know his name. I don't know his name, but his name, say it's Zach. Zach was always went to school with me. I've known him since the sixth grade. There was a girl named Summer that came to our school. She transferred over because she just got changed schools because their parents married. So they were stepbrother and sister. Oh. oh. And she was beautiful. Oh, she, oh she and they were hooking up. She immediately became the hottest girl at the school. Yeah. And so he started out like with like overprotecting, like, hey, that's like my sister. That's like my sister. Yeah, but man. then people started seeing them act like a little too much, uh, you know? And so the, the rumors started flying. What are you going to do though? Young love, baby. Like, shit. What? They're not blood related. Oh, yeah, what I agree do. with Logan. What? What? what are you, you never. Do? What? Do you guys George, are okay with this? Yeah. George, I'm, oh. am I okay with this? My ex girlfriend is the most famous stepsister in the world. She, she it was almost my stepsister. Quite literally, of course I'm okay with this. Did you role play that? We role played everything. <laughs> he showed me videos. <laughs> so, will you watch any of her work now? Dude, Dylan, why don't you do me a favor and wait till I put my next book out? Dylan. All right, where I'll answer that exact question. It's called The Year with a Porn Star. Buy it on fucking Amazon. <laughs> no, it's not. It's no, it's not. We don't know it's what it's called. called that. I know but, what it's called. Well, yeah, Logan's working. I fell in love with the porn star. Period. Wait, with, with period ri written out or just the dot? Written out. <laughs> I fell in love with the porn stars. Period. <laughs> Boo. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I got a call coming in. Y'all ready for this? Thank you guys for watching Impulsive. We love you. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next episode. Take it easy. Bye.